What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP lock on an Xperia L1. The Xperia L1 came out in 2016, late 2016 and uh, it uh, currently uh, carries Android 7 as the latest operating system which is much easier than to remove the FRP on a Galaxy S8 or a Galaxy S7 Edge on Android 8. So in order to do this, um, we're going to need to do a couple of tricks. So as you can see, I can't go any further without putting my Google account in. So we're going back to the beginning and you see visual aids on the bottom right. Click on that one. And then you see talk back right at the bottom of the list. Click on that one and enable talk back at the top. Click OK. And now we can enable and disable talk back with the volume up and down buttons pressed at the same time. So now in the talkback tutorial, so you have to click, double click, always double click. So click to select and then double click to, to uh, select again, sort of thing. You'll soon get used to it. So you've got talkback enabled now. So now what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to disable talkback once we open this menu. So draw an L on the screen and go to talkback settings. So select and double tap to perform the action. So now let's click on volume up and volume down, volume down at the same time and that will suspend talk back. So just go OK on this section here. The same thing and now it's just one touch all the way. So we're going to go down to help and feedback. Let me, let me just um, uh, remind you that you need to have Wi-Fi on. So while you go through the settings, uh, even though it doesn't let you go any further, it will let you connect to Wi-Fi. You need that on. So in here, you, you click on voice and then you go home on, this, on the video, on a YouTube video. Click on top of the play button. You see the arrow on the top right of the video? So we're going to need to click on that one. That's a share one. And then on the three dots on the bottom right. Once we do that, then we are in YouTube itself. So click on not now, and then we're going to reduce the video down. So bring it down and to the left and click on the little man with a picture where you normally log into your account. In here, we're going to click on settings and then about. Now we're going to go over to YouTube terms and conditions can't go any further any up or down so YouTube terms and conditions and now we've got Chrome so that's the first major hurdle so click on no thanks to sign on uh, and now on the top bar we're gonna put in quick shortcut maker I will leave um, all of the other links in that, that you need I think there's only one that you need with this phone uh, this one needs to be done on the phone itself. So quick shortcut maker APK So you can just go to the first link just don't you can't download it from from the market But you can download it from say APK mirror or many different places So if you go to quick shortcut, ma shortcut maker go to download APK and It should come up with a message saying uh, that it's ready to download in to ask is for some permissions so you need permissions here click OK allow Chrome allow and then OK at the bottom then open and now you need to change some settings so click on settings and you see any non sources click on uh, select that one click OK then go back now you probably need to click on uh, on the link again so click here where it says click here and then click on the link exactly like I'm doing and install it you only need to do this because you know everything is switched off uh, while FRP is on so you need to enable everything click on open and now we're gonna see you see where it says input keyword to filter you need to tap on that and click on oh, I clicked the wrong one and click on uh, and type in core settings that's what we need core space settings and then click on core settings and something else below it and then try and now make sure that enable non-secure ADB is on mine is already on but yours won't be on so you need to turn it on so go back all the way to the beginning and now it's time to go on the computer and use the software that is on the link uh, below I have put it I've placed the link 
below with this software so you can do the Xperia FRP on these phones. Uh, it's different than the Samsung one, so don't. That, if you've got the Samsung one already, you're gonna need to get this one as well. So uh, yeah, so let's go on the computer now and have a look. Plug your phone in. It will be. A, is it's an Xperia L1, so it's a Type C. And uh, now on the computer, we right-click FRP bypass and click yes. And you know, I like to do this a couple of times, but you know, you might decide to do, do it just once, but. I like to do it a couple of times so you know I always do it two to three times uh, it will have like a fail message at the end error mm, bad Google login but don't worry about that login activity uh, so now all we need to do is I'm just doing it one more time for good measure and then cancel that and put transfer files on uh, on the phone itself as you can see it's on the bottom right of the screen now you can close everything and we're going back to just work on the device because everything is pretty much done. We need to reset it, but apart from that, everything is done. So you press next and you'll be back on the welcome screen. Uh, and you press next again and it should let you through to the next section. There we go. So now you have to accept a couple of things. Uh, so you have to go into uh, apps go to settings and just have a look and you can reset the phone in here back up and reset and then we go to the bottom factory data reset so we're gonna reset the phone completely so the FRP is already gone but because we did some trickery uh, with the FRP uh, software on the PC it's better to just clear everything out and make sure that everything is is removed this phone takes a very long time to reboot and to reinstall the OS so uh, I've sped up most of these parts where the phone is taking a very long time uh, so that should be it really now you'll see if you go uh, next you won't need to connect to Wi-Fi anymore it will just allow you to go forward uh, and uh, you can add your own account to it if you need to so setup is new here, you would ask us for our Google account, as you can see don't use any network for setup and we can just continue without using the network to set up the phone and choose, you know, put our name and put our, our own account. So I guess this is it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like and please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. There are many more uh, videos coming out for FRP. The next one to come up is going to be an S7 Edge on the latest Android 8, August 2018. So keep a lookout for that one. Also click the bell icon so you can get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.